Okay, so you should have mastered some of the basics of editing with Adobe Premiere. This is powerful editing software, so you have a lot of extra tools at your disposal to do some really artful editing. Let's look at the basic project you've assembled so far. What if you suddenly realize that you forgot to include an important shot between the first and second clips? You would need to make room for this on your timeline. This involves scooting all of those clips over, inserting your new clip, and then lining everything back up again, which can be both tedious and lead to mistakes. This is where insert mode comes in handy. Now if you just drag the new clip in and try to drop it into the sequence, you'll place the clip over part of the sequence you want to keep. This is because Premiere's default mode is overlay mode. What you want to do is automatically shift all the clips that come after your new edit over just enough to accommodate the new clip without overriding any of your old footage. This is accomplished with insert mode. To add a clip in insert mode, you just have to hold the control key down and then drag it into your sequence. And presto. Now let's talk about trim mode. Part of the process of editing is making little tweaks and minor adjustments. You might want a clip to run just a hair longer or just a hair shorter. Just like before, you don't want those changes you make to throw the rest of your project out of alignment. This is where trim mode comes in handy. To use trim mode, place your marker on an edit between the end of one clip and the beginning of the next clip. You can enter trim mode for these two clips by clicking the icon in the sequence window. Notice how the monitor window changes. On the left, you will see the clip whose end point you are adjusting. On the right, you will see the clip whose end point you are adjusting. The brackets on the timeline here represent the in and out points. All you have to do is drag the bracket or use the arrow keys to adjust the in and out points. Watch what happens to your project in the timeline when you adjust clips in trim mode. The clip changes size, but everything in the project stays linked together. Cool, huh? To exit trim mode, just close the window. If you want to make these kind of edits on the fly, you can also use this tool from the toolbar. This is the rolling edit tool. Just click on the edit point and drag the cursor. It's just that easy. Another cool editing trick involves your audio track. Right now, your audio cuts line up with your video cuts, like this. But sometimes you can add a little flair to your project by letting the audio from the first clip continue into the second, like this. It's pretty easy to do, too. First, you'll notice that by default, Premiere links your audio tracks to the video clip they go with. Adjusting the length of one affects the other. Most of the time, this is very useful since it won't let your video get out of sync with your audio. But in this case, you want the audio track to be independent of the video track. To do this, right-click on the clip and choose Unlink Audio and Video. Now they're free. To trim the clips independently, choose the Rolling Edit tool again, and this time, hold down the Alt key. Click on the edge of the audio track you want to adjust and drag it. Now it will spill into the next clip, but what remains of the original audio will still be in sync with the video. If you want to get super advanced with audio and have them overlap and play at the same time, you can also do this. Unlink the audio and video, and now, before you do the adjustment, move the audio from the first track to a new audio track below it, like this. Now hold down the Alt key and extend it. There you are. Audio from your first clip will continue into your second clip, but instead of replacing the old audio, it will overlap. Premiere allows you to run lots of audio tracks simultaneously. This can be helpful when you want to have dialogue from the video, but also some music playing, for example. To add more audio or video tracks, you just have to right-click on the track name here on the far left of the timeline and choose Add Tracks. There are a lot more cool tricks to learn with Premiere. Spend some time playing with these advanced features and you'll probably pick up a few more.